Hello, my name is Vedant. I am a legal intern with Lexis and Company. Before starting of the video, I would like to say that please like and share the videos of the videos of Lexis and Company and subscribe to the YouTube channel of Lexis and Company. There is a small disclaimer that this video does not promote or advertise anything about the Lexis and Company and this videos are only for educational purposes for the audiences and for nothing else as per the Bar Council of India. So today's to video's topic is the continuation of what we have discussed in yesterday's video that is right to be forgotten and the uh, data protection and the digital privacy in Indian jurisdiction. So yesterday we have uh, we had discussed that an interim order issued by the Delhi High Court directing the Google and India Kanun to remove access to a judgment from their portal. The court had applied the right to be forgotten principle. So we have also discussed what does right to be forgotten principle mean and do we have a right to be forgotten enshrined in our laws or as per the decided case laws. We discussed various case laws of the Supreme Court as well as the various uh, constitutional uh, various constitutional high courts of our country. So in today's video, we will discuss international jurisprudence of right to be forgotten principle. So in United Kingdom, Rehabilitation of Offenses of Offenders Act 1974 and the Spent Conviction Scheme have the effect of limiting the disclosure of certain offenses of citizens after a stipulated period known as the spent period. However, the right to into the right to eraser as a part of right to be forgotten uh, principle took shape largely from the 1995 uh, directives of the European Union on the protection of individual with regard to the processing of personal data and um, personal data and on the free free movement of such data. In case of Google Spain and Google Inc. versus Agencia Español de Protección de Vastos and Maria Costeza Gonzalez 2014 case reaffirmed the principles of right to be forgotten, uh, which were subsequently established in the European Union General Data Protection Regulation 2016, which came into force on 25 May 2018. In the UK, General Data Protection Regulations had been implemented under the Data Protection Act 1998, which governs transfer of all personal data, including the ability to appeal to the Information Commissioner's Office in event search engines refuses to remove personal data which are sent, which are spent. The remit of the way or uh, the right to be forgotten has been examined in detail in High Court of England and Wales in matter of. NT1 and NT2 versus Google LLC 2018 case. Both NT1 and NT2, whose identities were anonymized, sued Google after it refused to remove information uh, about their spent conviction from search results. In both cases, the court balanced the individual's right to have dam da damaging personal data removed against Google in its interest in processing their personal data. The European Court of Justice has also in particular been at the forefront of confirming right to be forgotten. In Google LLC vs. Commission Nationale, uh, Nationale 2019 case, ECJ, the European Court of Justice, has discussed in length about the territorial scope of FreeAD referencing by a search engine operator once the request for the same has been granted to a subject to a data subject. Similarly, in the case of GCAF PSCD vs. Commission National Aid 2019, ECJ has tried to balance the right to privacy of data subjects against that the right against that of right to know of public at large. So what does Indian Personal Data Protection Bill talks Bill talks about? India has been a late entrant to internet privacy and it was only in 2019 that the personal data protection bill was introduced in the Lok Sabha. The bill differ, the PDP bill differs from the GDPR with regard to right to be forgotten while GDPR allows permanent erasure of personal data immediately where it is no longer needed for its original processing purpose when, cons when consent is with first when cons First, when it is no longer needed for, for its original processing purpose. Second, when consent is withdrawn. 
third when there are no overriding legitimate grounds for processing the pdp bill allows total erasure only on first term under the pdp bill the data principle would be required to directly apply to the adjudicating officer not the data fiduciary and even third parties can seek review of the order against disclosure uh, it is tried that right to be forgotten is not an unconditional right and in order to acquire the same the onus lies on the data principal to show that their right or interest in restricting continued disclosure of personal data overrides the right to freedom of speech and expression and right to information of any citizen nevertheless with countries like uk australia and other members of the european union leaning strongly in favor of right to be forgotten it is time for india to re calibrate our legal and statutory framework in this regard if the pdp bill is passed in its current form the discretion of the adjudicating officer has to be carefully exercised on a case to case basis as to whether the right to be forgotten of a particular offender outweighs the interest of prevention and detection of offences or if the personal data is used for domestic or commercial purposes and so on instead of a blanket response for all the cases in the light of the recent pronouncement in jo jo jorawar singh munde versus union of india 2019 by delhi high court this may also open the flood gates of litigation under the writ jurisdiction <coughs> in the months <coughs> and years to come thank you so this was all about right to be forgotten or uh, jitrika to international jurisprudence and indian data production bill Uh, do like and share the video subscribe to the youtube channel of lexus and company